Splat the cat. It was early in the morning and Splat was wide awake. Today was his first day at cat school and his tail wiggled wildly with worry. If I hide from the day, maybe it'll go away, he thought. It didn't go away. Time to get up, said his mom. Time to get dressed, said his mom. I don't have any clean socks, mom. Maybe I should go to school tomorrow instead, said Splat. You don't wear socks, said his mom. I'm having a bad hair day, mom. Maybe I should go to school tomorrow instead, said Splat. His mom combed his hair. Perfect, she said. Don't forget your lunchbox, said his mom. I'll need a friend today, thought Splat. And he dropped his pet mouse, Seymour, into his lunchbox. Time to go, said his mom. The front door won't let me out, Mom. The gate won't let go of my fingers, Mom. The lamppost won't get out of my way, Mom. Mom! You can ride your bike if you like, Splat, said his mom. So he did, but he didn't say a single word. Welcome to cat school, said a big round cat. I'm Mrs. Wimpy Dimple, your teacher. Splat's mom gave him a hug. I'll be back soon, she said. You'll be fine. Everyone, this is Splat. Let's welcome him into our class, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Hi, Splat! Mrs. Wimpy Dimple began. Cats are amazing, she said. We're clever, cunning, and quick. Am I amazing too? asked Splat. Yes, you too, said Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Cats climb trees, drink milk, and chase mice, she continued. Why do we chase mice? asked Splat. It's what we do, replied Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Why? asked Splat. Because? Why? Mrs. Wimple, Miss, Mrs. Wimpy Dimple sighed. Lunch time, she, she announced. Splat opened his lunchbox. Mouse! The cats did what cats do. Seymour hid behind a glass bottle. And when the cats saw his face through the glass, they screamed and ran away. Seymour did what all mice want to do. Stop! cried Splat. Splat! They didn't stop. Enough! Mrs. Wimple Dimple said, and it ended. It's milk time! Hooray! But the door to the milk cupboard was stuck. No milk today, announced Mrs. Wimpy Dimple. Aww. Splat whispered into Seymour's ear. Seymour nodded and then, a moment later, the door swung open. Yum! Mrs. Wimpy Dimple wrote again on the chalkboard. Cats don't chase mice. Hooray! cheered the class. Soon it was home time. Splat's mom returned and gave him a hug. I've got lots of friends. Cats don't chase mice. I'm amazing. It was early the next morning and Splat was wide awake. Today was his second day at cat school and his tail wiggled wildly with excitement.